Hey guys, I'm back with Dr. Emma. Hello. Hello. Talking today about something you're quite passionate about, adolescent skin. It's such an area of interest for me. Mm. And I, I think it's so important. I mean, I didn't find adolescence that easy. And if I'd had a major skin condition, or even a minor skin condition, I think it would have been 10 times worse. I just think it's such an important formative time of your life. And actually, skin disease is super, super common. You know, 85% of adolescents will have some degree of acne. And actually, it can make it can just have such a devastating impact on self-esteem that I just think it's such an important issue to raise. And I think it's that sort of ubiquitousness that actually makes it sometimes a reason why people don't go and get treatment because it's like a rite of passage, especially if mum or dads had acne themselves. They think, oh, it's just yeah. something to be gotten through. A hundred percent agree. Isn't necessarily the case. I don't think so at all. I see people that come into me all the time and basically say, well, you know, it started off, it wasn't too bad, it was just teenage skin. I'm like, no, nothing is just teenage yeah. skin. If it bothers you, then actually we can treat that. Um, it doesn't always bother people. And I think that's the other thing that I've learned over time is sometimes not to project my, my, um, <laughs> my yeah. view of it onto other people. Because actually for some people it doesn't really affect and that's totally fine. But actually for the majority of people who suffer, it really does affect people. Mm. And it's not just acne as well. So in teenage years, we know that about 50% of psoriasis will start in it. And a lot of teenagers will have eczema. So there's lots and lots of skin conditions that can affect it. But definitely the most common one I see is acne. Okay. So, um, some pointers on what not to do, because I think when it comes to putting together a skincare routine for mm-hmm. acne, what you don't do is often as important as what you do do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, what not to do, mm-hmm. um, don't ignore it, so definitely <laughs> do something about it. Yeah. Um, start by simple cleansing, that's often the thing that I will start to say to people, because acne is sometimes the first sign of puberty, so I'm starting to see 10, 11 year olds that are starting to get changes. Mm-hmm. First thing is, start with a gentle cleanser. Um, And you can add in something like an AHA or a BHA with that and just superficially getting rid of all of that excess oil or dead skin cells. So simple cleansing. Yep. So no double cleansing. Obviously not. Brushes. No double cleansing. Think about face cloths. I think if you change them every single day, Mm -hmm. every time you use them, but frankly, who could be bothered to do that? And I think cleansing just with water is totally fine. And they're abrasive, aren't they, really? Yeah. Unless you use a super fine muslin cloth. So, um, yeah, I'm all about the the fingertips. All about the fingertips. It's so much easier and it works just as well. So, any other don'ts? What about squeezing? Self-extraction? No, don't squeeze. I mean, the vast majority of people I see, when they squeeze, they actually form more marks and it takes longer to heal. So you definitely don't want to be squeezing. No, no. And don't use um, lots of pore blocking makeup. So lots of comedogenic makeups around, and um, lots of powder use around. Definitely seeing a lot of that. Yeah, long wear makeup. Yeah, I just think don't do exactly. it. It's Touch up, helping. concealer, light base, and um, oils. I see a lot of people who are using oils or in teens. Yeah, yeah. oils and like cocoa butter and things <gasps> like that as well. If they yeah. get slightly sensitive skin and that the trend really for naturals blocking. hasn't necessarily been the friend of the yeah. easily influenced teen who's on Instagram a lot just the whole natural I mean this is a whole video in itself isn't it? <laughs> the natural skincare you I think you know if you like that video guys leave us a comment yeah um so definitely all of those things avoid and then what to do so I think first of all simple cleansing and then if it's really not getting any better over-the-counter products like salicylic acid can be helpful um, you can get benzoyl peroxide in the counter for lots of those pore blockage, which is a lot of what I see in teens as yeah. well. And um, that can be really helpful. Yeah, you see that comedonal T-zone yeah. pattern, don't you? Yeah, exactly. And then much past that, your doctor, because there are just so many things that we can do to make it so much easier. And I think there are two real reasons why I'm really passionate about why adolescent skincare, in, in particularly in acne, is really helpful. One is because it causes so much misery. And two is because if you scar it's much, much harder to get rid of those um, scars. So actually you want to treat that acne as soon as it comes out. Great. Any other tips, treatment-wise, ingredients? What are your favourite ingredients in teens? Well, it's very similar in in terms of acne, in terms of other sorts of things. So retinoids have a really great place in that. Combination products. So I definitely think that... Boys. Yes. But, I mean, I think generally it's harder to get good compliance. You know, you're busy, you're going to school, college, parties, whatever it may be. You don't want to be a slave to your skincare. So, combination products, benzoyl peroxide and retinoids, I use a lot more in teens than I do mm. as well. Yeah, I agree. That's a great one. But yeah, I think the key thing, don't let it scar. Get action in place before that happens. Definitely. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Bye for now.